Only a handful of cities in the world have acted as the political and cultural hub of a region for as long as Beijing has in China. Beijing has played a significant role in Chinese history for the past eight centuries. Almost every building in the city, regardless of date, is significant from a national historical perspective. Without understanding Beijing, it is impossible to comprehend China due to its significance. Beijing today serves as a source of pride for the country. In addition to its historical significance, it is officially home to the most billionaires in the world. According to Forbes reports, the Chinese capital has 100 billionaires, narrowly beating out New York City, which has 99. So how do the billionaires in Beijing spend their hard-earned money? How much do they spend on palladial residences, expensive holidays, luxury hotels, and high-end brands? Let's find out. The Billionaires of Beijing Years of dedication and hard work laid the foundation for Zhang Shan Shan's inspiring journey to being a self-made billionaire. The 66-year-old, who is currently China's richest man and is thought to be worth $70 billion, is not only the chairman of Nungfu Spring, but also the proprietor of Beijing Wanti Biological Pharmacy Enterprise. To reach his current lofty position, Zhang had to learn the difficult way and gain expertise in the media, sales, and even farming sectors. His education was shortened because his parents were regarded as intellectuals during the Cultural Revolution, which lasted from 1966 to 1976. After quitting junior high school, he worked as a bricklayer and carpenter for the following 10 years to support his family. As they say, the rest is history. Zhang is described in Chinese media as the lone wolf who, unlike other billionaires, prefers to operate under the radar. For someone who keeps a low profile, it is definitely going to be difficult to have an idea of what the rich man's house is like. But what we do know is that he recently relocated to Hangzhou and spends the majority of his time there with his family. And since he is extremely wealthy, it is safe to assume that his residence is everything that a billionaire's home should be like. He should definitely own a ludicrously expensive fleet of cars and possibly a private jet. The next billionaire in the line is a man who has given Gen Z something to smile about. I'm referring to Zhang Yiming. You've probably heard of him, no? Well, he is the creator of TikTok. That's right. TikTok's tremendous success has not only produced a new generation of social media stars, but also a social media billionaire. Despite having a net worth of $50 billion and being one of China's wealthiest people, Zhang is exceedingly reclusive and nothing is known about his personal life. He once admitted to his employers that he is not a social person, preferring solitary pursuits such as being online, reading, listening to music, and pondering on what might be archivable. Seems the rich and famous of Beijing are not one for the spotlight. The Chinese internet giant Ma Wanting comes in second with a valuation of $33.2 billion. Unlike his peers, this millionaire is more flamboyant with his wealth. Ma paid $61 million for his 8,000-square-foot Big Wave Road estate in 2009 and is now estimated to be worth $250 million. There are also highly expensive cars, which include a Ferrari and a Mercedes sitting in his garage. Celebrities Because Beijing is China's cultural center, it is also the most popular place for superstars to live, and people frequently run across celebrities in public. Celebrities such as Nanyang have one of the city's finest property holdings. Between 1995 and 2006, she purchased five different opulent mansions worth millions of dollars, some of which are located in elite districts such as Greenland Garden and Dynasty Garden. Ying enjoys having a good time, and she frequently visits the many brand department stores in Beijing. Another well-known Beijing star is Zhao Weiwei. Zhao Wei is a famous actress, singer, director, producer, and model who epitomizes beauty with intelligence. Apart from starring in hit films, she has also received a number of lucrative endorsement deals from companies such as Versace, Dior, Mercedes-Benz, Motorola, and others. Zhao has been dubbed China's slow business buffet due to her wise investing judgments. Forbes also ranked her as one of the world's wealthiest actresses. She invested in Alibaba Pictures Group in 2014 and made millions of dollars by the end of 2016. Real Estate If you thought Beijing's historical structures were the only thing spectacular about the city, wait till you see the real estate, including this breathtaking property with an equally astounding price tag of more than $15 million. This Beijing manor, which spans a large area, is all about grandeur and extravagance. All 200 manor homes are surrounded by magnificent gardens that strike the right blend between nature and luxury. Each style is surrounded by magnificent fountains, incredible brickwork, and a relaxed, intimate, and pleasant atmosphere. 
The interior design follows the golden ratio. Its huge bedrooms are constructed with every convenience conceivable to ensure the resident's comfort. The baths have some of the most magnificent marble work, and how can we forget the amazing parlor and living area? The Beijing Manor combines modern construction with high ceilings and floor-to-ceiling windows for ideal sunshine overlooking breathtaking surroundings, as well as the most exquisite color palette. The Dow Hawaiian Luxury House, a huge $40 million property, comes in next. It spans 4,000 square meters and is surrounded by a large group of traditional Chinese homes, ponds, and greeneries to preserve the environment's natural, relaxed, and clean appearance. An east wing and a west wing make up the house's configuration. The west wing is exclusively used for family and personal occasions, while the east wing is intended for visitors, work, and pleasure. A stunning display of Tahoe stonework and numerous Chinese pine trees for a classic touch welcomes visitors at the entrance. Consider this living room, which features high ceilings, a 7-meter-tall crystal chandelier in the form of a cloud, another enormous one over the spiral staircase, and marble detailing. It seems to be a blend of local and Western elements, and the doors and floor-to-ceiling windows are crafted with the Xing Dynasty in mind, overlooking an incredibly beautiful Chinese garden scenery outside. Many classical paintings of mountains, trees, and dragons, in addition to walls made of bamboo, can be found throughout the home. The terrace views from the second floor provide an amazing, stunning view of a golf course and faraway mountain landscape. Also, the house has a hidden area where you can store your most valuable or valued belongings. This building represents the fusion of thousands of years of traditional Chinese legacy with modern technology. It is both conventional and inventive. Restaurants in Beijing If you only have a short time in Beijing, you might not have time to independently examine the food scene. This city hall has it all. Whether you want delectable Peking duck, sophisticated vegetarian food, genuine halal food, regional Chinese specialties, or top-notch international cuisine. But when they're starving, where do the wealthy people in the city go? After exhausting all of their shopping, Beijing's billionaires visit the most opulent eateries serving the city's best cuisine. The Georg, located in Beijing's Hutongs, is one of them. It is a fresh and trendy luxury contemporary European eatery established by Danish design company Georg Jensen, as well as a lifestyle area that mixes art, design, and cuisine. A single-page menu features around a dozen Nordic-style items. In quest of the richest organic ingredients and the taste of the meal itself, the menu changes by month or season, guaranteeing that customers enjoy good food in season. You can also go to Kyoto's Kenan, Minokaichi, Kazekai, Ryori, the city's most costly restaurant. You'll find there a master Japanese chef that prepares meals that are a blend of artistic expression and gastronomy. They also incorporate seasonal foods, making it extremely exclusive and the ideal spot for the elite to dine. Beijing also has three Michelin-starred restaurants. Xing Rongji, which is dedicated to providing its guests with a flawless culinary encounter, the restaurant relies on quality foods and their unique flavor, nourishment, and wellness. This peaceful resort combines traditional Chinese architecture with an overwhelming sensation of utter tranquility and the modern conveniences you'd anticipate from a true luxury holiday. The best part is that there is a beautiful garden courtyard surrounding each of its opulent, spacious apartments, and they all have stunning views. You'll regret it if you don't eat at the famed Quan Wan Dai restaurant. It is a restaurant that specializes in authentic Peking duck cuisine, and it is a place that attracts the rich and famous. Quan Wan Dai is the most famous Beijing duck restaurant in the world, with locations all over the globe. Over a century old, the popular restaurant has a special technique of roasting duck and selecting the best condiments and dishes to accompany it. What's your take on the Beijing billionaire lifestyle? Let us know in the comments below. Before you leave, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.